Welcome to another Farmers National Bank Blue Table Talk. I'm Kevin Helmick, President and CEO of Farmers. And today I'm joined by Shelly Brown. And Shelly's the Vice President of Development at Akron Children's Hospital and the Executive Director of the Akron Children's Hospital Foundation. Shelly, welcome and thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me. I'm yeah. happy to be here. Well, it's it's great to see you and uh, I'm, I'm a proud and uh, member of the foundation board. Absolutely, and, and, and we thank you for your service. Oh yes, <laughs> I, I, would, I love being on it. It's it's uh, um, very important uh, to our bank and to myself personally, so it's, it's an honor to serve. Um, but first, tell us a little bit about Shelly Brown. And I, I know you became the uh, foundation executive director in 2019, and you've been with the hospital for some years. Tell us a little bit about, about um, you and your role. Absolutely. I've been with Akron Children's Hospital for 13 years now. I, I can't believe it. Um, seems like yesterday. Uh, I came in and kind of worked my, my way up. I um, was with an adult system prior to that, uh, always in fundraising. I worked for the Cleveland Clinic um, and then had to awesome opportunity um, at Akron Children's. I've always lived in Akron. Um, I was raising my family in Akron, uh, so I thought it was a, a great fit and a great thing to look into. So it was it was the best move I, I ever made. Um, I came in as a, a major gift officer, which is really uh, someone that works long term on relationships uh, to give larger gifts uh, of support back to the hospital. Um, our foundation is a separate 501c3, um, but our main mission is to give back to Akron Children's Hospital. We do not give grants out to other organizations. So I started as a major gift officer and then I moved up through the ranks and then I ran the entire um, principal giving team. So any gifts over $25,000 that we were working on that came into the hospital. And then two years ago in 2019, um, I was promoted to the vice president. Um, and it, it's, it's been fantastic. So I have a lot of institutional knowledge. Um, I have a lot of great donors that I've worked with since day one when I started 13 years years ago. Um, so it's really been a, a wonderful opportunity for me and a great place to work. Well, that's a great, great background. And I do want to talk about the foundation and some of the events and initiatives sure. you have. But before we get into that, mm -hmm. the hospital has seen such growth. You guys have done such a great job and there's such a need in all of our communities. We compare our footprints, Farmers National Bank, sure. our footprint, very similar to yours, Absolutely. understand the growth. Tell us about some of those growth initiatives that the hospital has. What do you guys have on your plate now? Well, you know, we have experienced great growth since I've been there, and, and really in the past five and six years. But but 12 years ago, we came into the Mahoning Valley um, and took over for Todd's. Um, it was a, a wonderful thing to come into that community. Um, it's a it's a full hospital, um, the community embraced us. And so that was kind of the beginning of looking at these health centers and getting certain services into the communities um, where people live rather than coming to the main campus, which is in Akron, Ohio. Uh, so we had a, a really surge the last couple of years of building health centers um, that, that did just that. They had emergency departments, they had specialty clinics, they had rehab. So we went into North Canton, we went into Worcester, we we went up into Boston Heights, into Mansfield, and New Philadelphia. So our footprint has really, really grown. Um, and we're hoping that people will get their primary care there and they'll see their pediatrician and they can do their rehab and, and take care of some of those chronic illnesses. And then, and then when it's needed for specialty acute care, they come up to um, the main campus. And that, that has really worked well for us. We also have expanded our pediatrics uh, network so our primary care, we have 30 locations now all over Ohio that uh, provide primary care. And that's also a feeder into um, our main campus. So it has, it's been a lot of growth. Um, our, our footprint has, you know, just expanded. Um, and we're, we're very pleased with, with how we've been able to, to serve those communities where they are. Well, extraordinary growth and congratulations being part of the hospital and seeing all that growth. And it takes resources. It yes. takes it <laughs> takes the communities. It takes so many things. And as you think about all of the events at the foundation and how we're how we're really funding a lot of this and how we're raising money and Absolutely. things, I'd love to hear about that. But also, 
How about the pandemic last year? I mean, yes. how did you react to the pandemic? <laughs> well, it kind of rocked our world. Um, it, it rocked the hospital healthcare system, but talking about development and fundraising, it, it really changed how we do everything or how we had done everything in the past. Um, as you know, Kevin, it, it, it's a face-to-face, -face <laughs> at a restaurant, yeah. at a club, at an event. Those are how we built relationships. Um, so we really had to take a look at how we can still engage with our donors, our partners, our corporations, without being in the same room with them. Uh, so that that was a big change. We got a little bit more tech savvy, which <laughs> was helpful. Um, so we did a lot of Zoom, we did a lot of Teams meetings. Um, we really looked at all of our events to see how we could continue to have them, but have them in a safe environment. Uh, so that, that took some creativity and, and flexibility. Um, we had a, a very successful year last year. We were able to kind of, you know, repurpose and, and relook at all of these things that we had done in the past. Um, and it, it really changed how, how we interact with our donors. I, I would have never had a Zoom call with a donor. <laughs> Right. Just two years ago, I've been in fundraising for a long time, and I would have, I would have scolded my my uh, you know staff and said, no, you have to meet them in person. But you know, we had such great relationships, and so we just continued that. Some were able to give back, and some weren't. But we just kept that engagement, educating them on not only COVID and how it was affecting healthcare, but also what we see coming out of COVID, you know, what's going to be kind of that byproduct of, of, of what we've been through for the past year. Sure. So a, a lot of changes there. And, and one of the things um, that I'm really proud at Farmers, we had so many employees that said, hey, I want to be able to give back to Akron Children's and I want to be able to, to, you know, to help even financially. And so we do have a workplace giving program. Um, maybe tell us about some of the ways that, that viewers can impact children's and the absolutely. foundation. Absolutely, absolutely. We, we have so many different engagement opportunities. We have our committees, we have our foundation board, we have an emerging leaders board, we have an engage board, which is really young professionals in, in their 20s. We have the most amazing group of volunteers at the hospital, and that is another way that you can give back. Um, I, I can't even express how much we need them just for our bottom line, the, 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 um, the jobs that they do and, and what they, they, they do for us in, in the hospital. Um, and, in, and employees, too. You, you guys are our ambassadors. Our, our, you're out there, your kids are being treated um, by Akron Children's, um, and you can really, you know, s spread the word um, about Akron Children's. When, when things were different prior to COVID, we did a lot more engagement opportunities in the hospital um, with corporation tours and carnivals and coming in to read to the kids. Um, those will, will come back because those are, are pretty amazing, um, but there are so many ways that you can still give back and every every dollar counts I mean you're, you're giving time you're giving talent and you're giving treasure um, we have a, a large annual fund system we do our radiothon which is you know just close to our heart because it gets it gets that awareness out there that's unrestricted dollars Mahoney Valley just did a radiothon they raised two hundred fifteen thousand dollars in two days we did one up in um, Akron this is all virtual mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. radio that used to be the kids bringing the the you know Know, the coins in and we'd have everything at the hospital everything was virtual done out of the radio stations um, and you know it, it was amazing people still wanted to give back and just found other ways um, to be able to do it so and you can contact the foundation at any time we have a, a great staff um, people that work on corporations people that work with individuals and they just have a, a full menu of things if you do want to learn more or get involved, um, I think we could have a good fit for you. Yeah, that's great. Well, there's been so many people here in the Mahoning Valley that I know have led the charge and in, in helping bring children, yes. so many of the Akron children's folks. And I think of Paul Dutton and oh, Bruce yes. and Carter Lewis and all the Absolutely. people that I've been able to really watch and, and, and how their leadership has impacted it. And I know they're all important to you as well. So they many are. people. They are. So. It's all about relationships. Yeah. Um, and I think that's why we weathered the storm as a foundation um, this past year, because we had those strong, strong relationships. And, yeah. and people still want to help. They're, 
They're generous. I mean, the, the Ohioans are amazing. <laughs> yeah, they certainly stepped up. Well, Shelly, congratulations to the hospital. Congratulations to the foundation on a great year. You have a wonderful team. Um, the medical professionals, as many people know at Akron Children's, are top shelf. And I know it takes a lot to continue to attract medical professionals and the technology right. and the facilities. Um, and it's just such a great initiative and it's such a great organization. So thank you so much, Shelly Brown. Absolutely. Executive Absolutely. Director of the Foundation at Akron Children's. And thank you. And thank you for your support. Oh, of course. Of course. Farmers has been wonderful. Yeah. Well, that's it for another Blue Table Talk. And for Shelly, uh, I'm Kevin Helmick, and thanks for joining.